My first story is called The Bank Wanker. <laughs> in Illinois, a 40-year-old man walked into a bank and handed the cashier a threatening note. The note read, be quick, be quit. We think he meant quiet. Um, give your cash or I'll shoot. He managed to get the apostrophe in the right place, but he misspelt quiet. Uh, there's also some weird capitalization in different places. The bank teller handed him $400 out of the, uh, out of the register. Out of the little till. And the thief made his, his way away. But the piece of paper that he wrote the, the instruction on was torn off from a larger piece of paper. Detectives found the larger piece of paper outside the bank and right. mat matched it up and determined that this piece of paper was ripped from this piece of paper because you can't fake those tears. Um, it, was, it was the robber's pay slip. And it had his name, home address, I imagine some tax information, probably payroll mm. information. So he got done, you... didn't he? <laughs> Twat. Do you think that's why he robbed the bank? He's, he was he's coming back from the post office, opened his pay slip and went, well, this is fucking bullshit. Or like the... Um, he was hoping I need that four hundred more dollars. He was hoping that when detectives matched up the pay slip, they'd go, "Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough," and let him off. Oh, he doesn't need it. the money. Yeah. <laughs> um. So that's that's dumb. It, it's the fact Most that like standards. you you wouldn't just like use a, a a piece of you wouldn't get a piece of paper especially to do that like or you wouldn't tear it off a notepad or something. Even tearing it off a notepad, you can do that thing with the pencil. Where you rub it across and you get like the previous note that he wrote, and that's yeah. a clue or something, Nancy Drew style. But like, just because that that reads like a um, oh, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna do a crime. I'm gonna it's a, like a real casual deal or like a spur of the moment thing. Oh, I don't have any paper on me. Better I'll tear this bit off. Or I want to pick <laughs> up a six pack, but like I don't have any loose change on me, so I'm just gonna. Just gonna rob this place. Hey, there's a bank here. Why not rob the offie? I mean, don't rob the offie, but like. Oh, have you seen some of the videos of people trying to rob liquor stores and off licenses? There yeah, are it... some impressive videos that do not go well for the burglars. In a country where there's widespread like access to firearms, I don't understand how anyone does any crime. Uh, I don't because understand they how anyone leaves all have the house. firearms. Yeah, even if you have a firearm, what's to say like the person on the counter doesn't have a bigger firearm that they can they could have a literal bazooka under their desk and you'd never know. Yeah. With a bazooka, I mean, have... you wouldn't even have to like show them to fire it. You just face it in the right direction, pull the trigger. You lose half your shot, but then you can put it down as an insurance job because you got robbed, innit? Well, you could just say, please stand back. I have a bazooka under my counter. Yeah. <laughs> We all, it's going to be a bad day for everyone. Or get like a um, nunchucks or something that's like really unwieldy. Like at least a firearm, you know which way it's going to go because of the pointer. I know point is the wrong word. But like with nunchucks, you don't know who that's going to hit. This dude could knock himself out or he could like take your genitals away from you with it. Like there's no there's It's no probably going to be you, isn't it? Uh, so that's my first story. I'm it's a fan. A real, it's a real good one. Conversation.